Performance art and street theater encompass a huge range of activities. They may propagandize and agitate the system, but they also build a sense of community among the participants. The Living Theater and the Bread and Puppet Theater have, for over 50 years, used collective performance to bring their message and art to cities and towns around the world. Czechoslovakian performance artist Milan Kahoot also performs across the globe, compelling interaction with his audience. I want to do political art just in front of your face. On, only because you don't want to listen to me, you don't like my message, it doesn't mean that I would not be telling it to you. You know, that's, that was my confusion because sometimes people were like, it's annoying, you are jumping in our faces, you know. Just go and tell it to the people who agree with you. Well, it would be very easy, you know. Then you are like in some kind of a safe, segregated space where you can like sort of masturbate your own artistic feeling and political expressions, you know. That there was completely uh, contradiction to my understanding of being an artist. Artists should be the conscious of the whole society. However, society like it or dislike it, it should be still sort of a trying to remind the society that there is something wrong. <laughs> you know, I got a permission to do a performance piece on South Station in that lobby of South Station. I got even the permission to use the loudspeakers, so I had a wireless mic talking. I built a cage, nice silver cage, and I was standing there for about two or three hours during the rush hour. And I was talking to the people just in, standing in that cage, and I was just telling them a simple message, still repeated. Look, I know that it's weird that I'm standing inside of the cage. I fully recognize that I'm inside of the cage, and I fully recognize that this society had the right to put me to that cage, you know, in past. Because I was a big critic of capitalist economic system, and they put me to the cage. But now I changed my mind. I already love capitalism, I love market economy, I love everything what represents this country, everything. So there is no need to keep me in the cage anymore. Just believe me, trust me, let me go. It has proved me that capitalist economy is really the best economy in the whole world, you know. It's an economy which is working the best way, you know. And I used to say, I used to say those no? things which were criticizing capitalist economy, but uh, not anymore. I want to be as free as you are, you know, my fellow Americans. Now I agree that the health care should be unequal. <laughs> Whoever doesn't have money should not get any health care. <laughs> you know, if you don't make your money, just stay in your poor class, you know, stay in your ghetto, whatever, you know. If you don't have good school, fine, because you are poor, you, sh you don't have a right for good school. That's what I'm saying now. And it was interesting that the people passing around the cage that sometimes forgot that I was in the, inside of the cage and started to discuss with me and opposing me, my new enlightened <laughs> thoughts, trying to tell me, no, actually your previous thoughts were good. <laughs> So it was like some kind of a playing with that reality, you know. Ability to get right out now, of man. this You're cage. Out. Therefore, I am telling you how stupid I was before. Well, you're not demonstrating that you're any smarter now. <laughs> you're staying in the cage on your own free will. Yes, I know. And it's very awkward and it's very painful, you know. And I, maybe, maybe they still don't trust me. I don't know. It's money, materialism, you know. Because of my piece, they called cup. There was standing cup, and I was saying, for example, look at that cup 
for example. Now I admire, he is a defender of our l democracy. But in past, just the sample, what I was thinking about cups in past, <laughs> let me tell you what I used to say. I used to say, you are a servant of rich people, <laughs> you know, only because they are paying you, <laughs> you are doing whatever, you would beat poor people to death, you know. And that cup was like, and I read in his eyes, like, if I could shoot your head off. <laughs> but I was saying, I don't think that anymore. I changed my mind. <laughs> it's only the example what I was saying about you. <laughs>